Hey, what is going on guys? It's Spears here and today I'm bringing you guys a tip video on how to win school almost every time and not just win i mean dominate you guys want to leave here with the most kills and the best loot well this video is going to show you exactly how to do that so each time i drop at school i do the same thing every time i have the same path if you want to call it a path that's what i'm calling it um, but real quick first tip obviously get to that 234 kilometer uh, dropping speed in the bottom left hand corner obviously that will get you down onto the school faster um, so back to what I was saying, I use the same path every time. And what I do is I go to the most Eastern part of the school, which is right over this auditorium slash theater place, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a lot of people avoid the roof altogether because they think that there's no loot up there or they're going to get killed. And they think that they're going to get guns faster by going, going below. And that is just simply not the case. As you can see here, this guy got an M16. He's an auditorium a little bit before me. I was man. I managed to grab the pistol, take him out. I did grab the vest, obviously vest are absolutely huge off the start of the round um so yeah i just always go right over top of auditorium and then just work your way back out so as you can see here i'm gonna breach these three um i mean these three rooms right here so the two behind me and then that one up on the left and that what that does is it ensures me that no one's behind me one and two it will allow me to get better loot so right there i just got a fresh level one vest and here we go now i see someone in front of me I'm always leaning when I shoot for the most part. You'll never catch me shooting without a lean. I think it's super crucial to do that as well. That's a hu another huge, huge tip. Obviously, keep your health at 100. Um, use what you think is necessary. When looting bodies, make it extremely, extremely quick. Don't do it for too long. Like right there, I would even say that was too long. I just, I have a headset so I can hear when people are coming. Um, obviously keep the corners as much as possible i saw that guy down the hallway so i kind of took myself backwards re-peeked and then took him out um, another thing is knowing your um knowing your weapons what weapons work best for you and what weapons work best for you at close quarters for me shotguns are good um but i'm not the best with the shotgun and i miss shots consistently i guess i would say i don't consistently hit my shots with the shotgun and so therefore i rather have a submachine gun that i could put on full auto whether it be the uzi or the thompson um not everyone is great at shotguns so if you're not good with them don't get discouraged um but also don't get baited as you can see here i heard a silenced pistol shot and i could hear where it was coming from i knew what room it was in and as soon as i walked in there he was waiting there for me so people do like to bait in school a lot which brings my next point be a highly aggressive player look for the people that are sitting and camping and use your crosses this is what i consider a cross the school is a u-shaped building so you are able to look across into the rooms where the people might be camping so if you think you hear someone and they're not on the first floor go ahead and try to come in from the out i mean try to look from the roof I heard that guy over there and I heard him pop that smoke grenade. So I knew where he was. I went to the roof. I used my crosses. I got the angle on him. He couldn't even see me. It was perfect. Here again, I hear the person above me. I'm not sure exactly where they are. He makes the fatal mistake of reloading his weapon. And that like confirms it for me exactly where he's at. I know he's right in here. I just heard him reload and bam, easy as that. Six kills right off of school every time guaranteed right here again i get the gun first i'm landing right over top of the auditorium this guy knows he's in trouble he's like i'm out of here see you later jumps um also as you guys can tell it's laggy right off the start so if you guys have like an xbox one and your textures don't load or you have xbox one s and your textures don't load i heard some people are having trouble with that I would not really suggest going to a high octane area like this because you're not going to be able to land on the roof without falling through the building things of that nature I am fortunate enough to play on Xbox One X, uh, and that I think that does give me somewhat of an advantage, especially when looting right off of the bat. Um, here you can see I saw somebody see me, so I decided to pursue them. I saw they didn't have a gun. Uh, I also don't know how the heck he ate so many bullets and why I potatoed my aim so much. But anyway, I kind of broke my loot path, although the building is somewhat, um, somewhat consistent floor to floor, like where the rooms are. So my loot path... While I am on a different floor, it's not that much different. Uh, you kind of always want to hoard as much ammo as you can. Coming up here in a second, I'm going to actually run out of ammo and I'm not going to be able to get a kill. I'm not quite sure why this game in particular, people were eating so many bullets. But, you know, whatever. Because they weren't ha didn't have vests on or anything like that. But 
Yeah, so you want to just stock up on as much ammo as possible. So if you think that you're going to use 9mm, make sure you have 9mm in your backpack. I always hoard as much 7.62 and 5.56 as I can right off the start. I think it's super helpful because I know that um, I know I'm going to get a 5.56 or 7.62 gun late in the game. Uh, if you do know where someone is camping, it is always helpful to throw a nade in first. A, to confirm that they're in there. B, to kill them. And at nothing else, just make their game drop frames. Everyone knows the game, the frames just absolutely tank on Xbox when there ever is a Molotov or a grenade or anything like that. So just toss a grenade in there. If it doesn't get them, it will at least throw them off. Again, as you can see here, this is my third game. I'm going to get six kills again. Uh, I drop right into the auditorium. I work my way up. I'm getting my shotguns, whatever guns I can get my hands on. I always, if I find more than one shotgun, I always pick them up because reloading the pump action is awful and reloading the double barrel is also, it's just awful. I don't like the double barrel very much. I'm, like I said, I'm not very good with shotguns. I happen to this game get all my kills with the shotguns, but it happens to be an S12K, which is a little bit different since it's semi-automatic, so I am able to rapid fire. My biggest tip for dropping school is to use your ears. You guys always want to be listening to where people are. If you don't have a headset yet, um, a lot of options have come out to where they're very cheap because like right there, I saw, I heard the guy above me. I knew he was above me. So I ran up the stairs and I could hear him tracking towards the door. So therefore I was able to pre-fire him. This guy, again, I can hear him walking up the stairs. So I'm able to not like pre-fire, but I'm able to locate him, collect information and just take him out before he even has a chance to react to what I'm doing. This guy, again, I hear everybody when I'm at school. I think that's another big advantage I have is I can hear where they are and what they're doing. So that helps me not only locate them, but it kind of helps me know where they are and they don't know where I am. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for showing so much love. Uh, I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.